Welcome to this week's motoring update from Trade Plates TV. We've got the latest news from the motor trade, including interviews with Big Motoring World and Imperial Cars. This week, Pool Audi has become the first of the brand's new state-of-the-art showrooms. Customers waiting for work to be done will be able to choose from a first-class lounge, a gym, and even a beauty salon and spa. A total of 110 staff members will work at the new 65,000 square feet and 14.5 million pound centre. According to SMMT figures, the new car market grew by 3.2% in the first six months of the year. So far, more than 1.4 million cars have been registered in the UK, which is the best half-year performance ever. Last week, Big Motoring World announced it would be expanding its Kent headquarters. I caught up with dealer principal Ching Patel to find out about the plans to become the largest independent prestige used cars dealer. Yes, so um, we've obviously been trading for the last 30 years. Um, and we've acquired another site at Bluebell Hill. Uh, we acquired that about a year ago, and our future plans there are to have uh, one of the largest prestige supermarkets in the country. Uh, we've been working heavily on that site for the last six months, and the approval has just gone through. Um, uh, and now we're going to be putting tarmac down uh, to get ready to retail cars. On. This is a journey that I've myself been with the company for the last 10 years, uh, and it's a journey where we've got to today to retailing over. Uh, 12, 1300 cars a month. Uh, the future is still bright. Now I, I foresee that we're going to be going to the next level. Cambria Automobiles has announced the acquisition of the Jaguar and Land Rover franchise in South Woodford from Pendragon Premier Limited for £2.1 million. Cambria says this will complement its existing brand footprint, which now operates five Jaguar and four Land Rover dealerships under the Grange trading name. Audi UK, Arnold Clark and Imperial Cars were the big winners at the Auto Trader Click Awards. Audi took the title of Best Manufacturer for Digital Customer Experience and Data Driven Retailer in the Manufacturer class. Arnold Clark received Data Driven Retailer for Franchise and Supermarket plus Best Integrated Marketing Approach. Imperial Cars collected Digital Forecourt of the Year for Franchise and Supermarket and Data Driven Retailer in the Supermarket category. I caught up with its Operations Director Neil Smith earlier in the week. We don't sort of target uh, particular awards or anything like that. It's more around just continually enhancing the user experience, trying to give the consumer what we feel they, they want, which is everything they need to make that decision online without having to contact us. You know, we still know that within our industry, there's a reticence uh, for people to want to contact us. We're still a used car retailer. So the perception is that we're out to um, maybe not give them as good an experience as, uh, as we would like. Uh, so we want to give that customer everything they need to make the decision. And we really want the customer to almost decide to buy that vehicle before they've even made contact with us. Owners of electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles will no longer be able to enjoy free charging on Ecotricity's electric highway from July 11th, when the service will introduce a five pound fee for 20 minutes of charging. Customers using the electric highway will also be capped at this 20 minute period, but home users will not be affected by this fee and will continue to get a discount on their home energy bill. And finally, last weekend the heat was on for the logistics bangers for Ben team. Ian and Joel from the Motor Trade Legal Consultancy went out to buy their MR2 for the journey to Maranello in October, but their hopes went up in flames as it caught fire on the A1. Click here now to read the story in full. If you want to find out more about any of these stories, click the i in the corner now. I'll be back again next week with more news, but if you want to see any of our other videos in the meantime, head over to tradeplates.tv or subscribe by clicking the logo now.